Roman Abramovich Roman Arkadyevich Abramovich is a Russian businessman and the main owner of the private investment company Milhouse LLC. He is known outside Russia as the owner of Chelsea Football Club, an English Premier League football team. Abramovich, with an estimated fortune of US$14.6 billion, is currently the fifth richest person in Russia and the 50th richest person in the world, according to the 2012 Forbes list. According to Bloomberg, Abramovich's net worth in 2014, was $14.2 billion, April 2014. Business Career Roman Abramovich started his multi-billion dollar business during his army service. After a brief stint in the Soviet army, he married his first wife, Olga. He first worked as a street trader and then as a mechanic at a local factory. At the peak of perestroika, Abramovich sold imported rubber ducks from his Moscow apartment. He attended the Gubkin Institute of Oil and Gas in Moscow, where he sold retraded car tires as a sideline, then traded commodities for Runicom, a Swiss trading company. In 1988, as Perestroika opened up opportunities for privatization in the Soviet Union, Abramovich got a chance to legitimize his old business. He and Olga set up a company making dolls. Within a few years his wealth spread from oil conglomerates to pig farms and he also started investing in other businesses. Abramovich set up and liquidated at least 20 companies during the early 1990s, in sectors as diverse as tire retrading and bodyguard recruitment. From 1992 to 1995, Abramovich founded five companies that conducted resale, produced consumer goods, and acted as intermediaries eventually specializing in the trading of oil and oil products. However, in 1992, he was arrested and sent to prison in a case of theft of government property, AVEKS Comey sent a train containing 55 systems of diesel fuel, worth 3.8 million rubles, from the Yurk to oil refinery. Abramovich met the train in Moscow and resent the shipment to the Kaliningrad military base under a fake agreement, but the fuel arrived in Riga. Abramovich cooperated with the investigation, and the case was closed after the oil production factory was compensated by the diesel's buyer, the Latvian U.S. company, Chikara International. In 1995, Abramovich and Boris Berezovsky, an associate of President Boris Yeltsin, acquired the controlling interest in the large oil company Sineft. The deal was within the controversial loans for shares program and each partner paid 100 million US dollars for half of the company, below the stake's stock market value of 150 million US dollars at the time, and rapidly turned it up into billions. The fast rising value of the company led many observers, in hindsight, to suggest that the real cost of the company should have been in the billions of dollars. Abramovich later admitted in court that he paid huge bribes, in billions, to government officials and obtained protection from gangsters to acquire these and other assets, including aluminium assets during the aluminium wars. Thus the main stages of Abramovich's financial career were January 1989 to May 1991, as chairman of the Comfort Co-op, manufacturer of plastic toys, and May 1991 to May 1993, as director of the ABK Small Enterprise in Moscow. According to various sources, from 1992 to 1995 Roman Abramovich set up five companies engaged in the production of consumer goods and selling and buying. In May 1995, jointly with Boris Berezovsky, he set up the PK Trust Close Joint Stock Company. In 1995 and 1996, he established another ten firms, Mekong Close Joint Stock Company, Centurion M Close Joint Stock Company. A Grofat Limited Liability Company, Multitrans Closed Joint Stock Company, Oilimpex Closed Joint Stock Company, Sibriel Closed Joint Stock Company, Fornift Closed Joint Stock Company, Servit Closed Joint Stock Company, Branco Closed Joint Stock Company, Vector A Limited Liability Company, which, again together with Berezovsky, he used to purchase the shares of the Sineft Public Company. The Guardian concludes Abramovich's career as follows. Friendship with Boris Berezovsky In 1992, Abramovich founded Mekong. 
he began selling oil from Noyebsk. Eventually, he met fellow Russian businessman and entrepreneur Boris Berezovsky. According to two different sources, he first met Berezovsky either at a meeting of the Russian businessmen in the Caribbean in 1993 or in the summer of 1995 on the yacht of his friend Pyotr Avenue. Berezovsky introduced Abramovich to the family, the close circle around the then president, Boris Yeltsin, which included his daughter Tatyana Dyashenko and chief security adviser, Alexander Korsakov. Together with Berezovsky, Abramovich founded the offshore company Gibraltar Registered Runicom Limited and five Western European subsidiaries. Abramovich headed the Moscow affiliate of the Swiss firm, Runicom SA. In August 1995, Sineft was created by Boris Yeltsin's presidential decree. It was rumored that Abramovich was the chief of the organization with Berezovsky promoting the business in higher circles. Acquisition of Sibneft, Aluminum Wars, and Loans for Shares In 1995, Abramovich and Berezovsky acquired a controlling interest in the giant Soviet oil company Sineft. Affiliates of Abramovich, with affiliates of Boris Berezovsky, purchased Sineft for 100.3 million US dollars. The company was worth 2.7 billion US dollars at that time. Sineft produces around 3 billion US dollars worth of oil annually. Abramovich established several fly-by-night firms and together with his friend Boris Berezovsky used them to acquire the stock of Sineft. As a result, the tycoon managed to pay for the company 25 times less than the market price. Bought for a total of 200 million US dollars, Sineft is now worth 75 times as much. The Times claimed that he was assisted by Badripatar Katsishvili. This acquisition was under the controversial Loans for Shares program initiated by President Boris Yeltsin. After Sineft, Abramovich's next target was the aluminium industry. After privatization the aluminium wars led to murders of smelting plant managers, metals traders and journalists as groups battled for control of the industry. Abramovich famously emerged as the winner of the aluminium wars. The Times stated that in a BBC investigation into Abramovich's wealth, reporter John Sweeney noted that, after the oligarch, Abramovich, emerged at the top of the trade, the murders stopped. Relationship with Boris Berezovsky and Badri Patar Katsishvili The Times also quotes According to court papers submitted by Abramovich and seen by the Times, UK, Abramovich mentions in the court papers Relationship with Kremlin Boris Yeltsin By 1996, at the age of 30, Abramovich had become close to President Boris Yeltsin, and had moved into an apartment inside the Kremlin at the invitation of the Yeltsin family. In 1999, the 33-year-old Abramovich was elected governor of the Russian province of Shukotka. He ran for a second term as governor in 2005. The Kremlin press service reported that Abramovich's name had been sent for approval as governor for another term to Shukotka's local parliament, which confirmed his appointment on October 21, 2005. Vladimir Putin Abramovich was the first person to originally recommend to Yeltsin that Vladimir Putin be his successor as the Russian president. When Putin formed his first cabinet as prime minister in 1999, Abramovich interviewed each of the candidates for cabinet positions before they were approved. Subsequently Abramovich would remain one of Putin's closest confidants. In 2007 Putin consulted in meetings with Abramovich on the question of who should be his successor as president, Medvedev was personally recommended by Abramovich. Chris Hutchins, a biographer of Putin, describes the relationship between Russian president and Abramovich as like that between a father and a favorite son. Abramovich himself says that when he addresses Putin he uses the Russian language's formal V, like Spanish usted, or French vis, as opposed to the informal TY, Spanish to, or French to. Abramovich says that the reason is because he is more senior than me. Within the Kremlin, Abramovich is referred to as Mr. A. Political career Duma member 
In 1999, Abramovich was elected to the State Duma as the representative for the Shukotka Autonomous Okrug, an impoverished region in the Russian Far East. He started the charity Pole of Hope to help the people of Shukotka, especially children, and in December 2000 was elected governor of Shukotka, replacing Alexander Nazarov. Governor Abramovich was the governor of Shukotka from 2000 to 2008. It has been estimated that he spent over 1.3 billion US dollars, EU 925 million, of his own money on the region, which now has one of the highest birth rates in Russia. Under Abramovich, living standards improved, schools and housing were restored and new investors were being drawn to the region. In 2003, Abramovich was named Person of the Year by Expert, a Russian business magazine. He shared this title with Mikhail Khodorkovsky. Abramovich was awarded the Order of Honor for his huge contribution to the economic development of the Autonomous District, by a decree signed by the President of Russia. Resignation In early July 2008 it was announced that President Dmitry Medvedev had accepted Abramovich's latest request to resign as governor of Shukotka, although his various charitable activities in the region would continue. In the period 2000 to 2006 the average salaries in Shukotka increased from about 165 US dollars EU 117 per picosecond 100 per month in 2000 to 826 US dollars EU 588 per picosecond 500 per month in 2006 Controversies Roman Abramovich has been alleged to be involved in various wrongdoings the Times said that Abramovich famously emerged triumphant after the Aluminium Wars, in which more than 100 people are believed to have been killed in gangland feuds over control of the lucrative smelters. When BBC reporter John Sweeney asked a Russian editor whether Abramovich was more powerful than the gangsters, the editor congratulated him for his good observation. Boris Berezovsky Allegations Allegation of blackmail Boris Berezovsky, his one-time business partner, alleged in 2008 that Abramovich harassed him with threats and intimidation to cheat him to sell his valuable shares at less than their true worth. In 2011 Berezovsky brought a civil case against Abramovich in the High Court of Justice in London, accusing Abramovich of blackmail, breach of trust and breach of contract, and seeking over PS3 billion in damages. On August 31, 2012, the High Court dismissed the lawsuit. The High Court judge stated that because of the nature of the evidence, the case hinged on whether to believe Berezovsky or Abramovich's evidence. The judge found Berezovsky to be an unimpressive, and inherently unreliable witness, who regarded truth as a transitory, flexible concept, which could be molded to suit his current purposes, whereas Abramovich was seen as a truthful, and on the whole reliable, witness. Bribery In 2008 the Times reported that Abramovich admitted that he paid billions of dollars for political favors and protection fees to obtain a big share of Russia's oil and aluminium assets as was shown by court papers obtained by the Times. Allegations of illegal share dilution Yagranift, an affiliate of Cyber Energy, is seeking billions of dollars in damages in a lawsuit in London against Roman Abramovich and his investment company Milhouse Capital, alleging that it was cheated out of its Russian assets. The proceedings involve substantial claims to recover the proceeds of the diluted interest, said Cyber Energy, a company co-owned by the billionaire Shalvish Jirinsky. Arrest for Theft in 1992 he was arrested in a case of theft of government property. AVEKS Comey sent a train containing 55 cisterns, tankers, of diesel fuel, worth a 3.8 million, rubles, from the Yukta oil refinery, case number 79067 for the large-scale theft of state property. Abramovich met the train in Moscow and resent the shipment to the Kaliningrad military base under a fake agreement, but the fuel arrived in Riga. Abramovich cooperated with the investigation, and the charges were dropped after the oil production factory was compensated by the diesel's buyer, the Latvian U.S. concern Chikara International.
allegations of loan fraud. An allegation emerging from a Swiss investigation links Roman Abramovich, through a former company, and numerous other Russian politicians, industrialists and bankers to using a 4.8 billion US dollars, EU 3.4 billion, loan from the IMF as personal slush fund. An audit sponsored by the IMF itself determined that all of the IMF funds had been used appropriately. In January 2005, the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, EBRD, indicated that it would be suing Abramovich over a picosecond 9 million, 14.9 million US dollars per EU 10.6 million, loan. The EBRD said that it is owed 17.5 million US dollars, EU 12.45 million PS 10.6 million, by Runicom, a Switzerland-based oil trading business which had been controlled by Abramovich and Eugene Schwedler. Abramovich's spokesman indicated that the loan has previously been repaid. Antitrust Law Violation in Russia Russia's antitrust body, the Federal Anti-Monopoly Service, claimed that Evra's holding, owned in part by Abramovich, had breached Russian competition law by offering unfavorable terms for contractors and discriminating against domestic consumers for coking coal, a key material used in steel production. Abramovich and European Football Chelsea FC In June 2003, Abramovich became the owner of the companies that control Chelsea Football Club in West London. The previous owner of the club was Ken Bates, who went on to buy Leeds United. Chelsea immediately embarked on an ambitious program of commercial development, with the aim of making it a worldwide brand on a par with footballing dynasties like Manchester United and Real Madrid, and also announced plans to build a new state-of-the-art training complex in Cobham, Surrey. Chelsea finished their first season after the takeover in second place in the Premiership, up from fourth the previous year. They also reached the semi-finals of the Champions League, which was eventually won by the surprise contender Porto, managed by Jose Mourinho. For Abramovich's second season at Stamford Bridge Mourinho was recruited as the new manager, replacing the incumbent Claudio Ranieri. Chelsea ended the 2004 May season as league champions, for the first time in 50 years, and only the second time in their history. Since the takeover the club have won 11 major trophies, the UEFA Champions League, the UEFA Europa League, the Premier League three times, the FA Cup four times, with 2010 providing the club's first ever league and FA Cup double, and the League Cup twice. Manchester United are the only English club to have won as many major honours in that time. It was argued that Abramovich's involvement with Chelsea distorted the football transfer market throughout Europe, as his wealth often allowed the club to purchase players virtually at will. That has changed in recent years, but he did sanction the transfer of Andrei Shevchenko for a then-British record transfer fee of around PS 30 million, EU 35.3 million. In the year ending June 2005, Chelsea posted record losses of PS 140 million, EU 165 million, and the club was not expected to record a trading profit before 2010, although this decreased to reported losses of PS 80.2 million, EU 94.3 million, in the year ending June 2006. In a December 2006 interview Abramovich stated that he expected Chelsea's transfer spending to fall in years to come. He is also present at almost every game Chelsea plays and shows visible emotion during matches, a sign taken by supporters to indicate a genuine love for the sport, and usually visits the players in the dressing room following each match. This stopped for a time in early 2007, when press reports appeared of a feud between Abramovich and manager Mourinho, regarding the performance of certain players, notably Shevchenko. In the early hours of September 20, 2007, Jose Mourinho announced his exit as Chelsea manager by mutual consent with the club following a meeting with the board. The former Israel coach and Chelsea's director of football, Avon Grant, was named as his replacement. Ever since Grant had joined Chelsea in 2007, there had been friction between him and Mourinho. Mourinho reportedly told Grant not to interfere in team affairs but, with Abramovich's backing, 
Grant's profile at the club rose after he was made a member of the board. This event apparently did not go down well with Mourinho and may have contributed to his surprise departure. Grant led Chelsea to the position of runners-up in the Premiership and the club's first appearance in the Champions League final, beaten by Manchester United on both accounts. Nevertheless, on May 24, 2008, Grant was sacked as manager by Abramovich. On June 11, 2008, it was announced that Luz Felipe Scolari, who had taken Brazil to World Cup glory in 2002, would be taking over as manager, but he only lasted until February 9, 2009 before being sacked. In February 2009, acclaimed coach GUUS Hidink was appointed caretaker manager for the rest of the 2008 September season, delivering Chelsea's first post Mourinho trophy with the FA Cup. Hidink was replaced by another former European Cup winning boss, Carlo Ancelotti. In May 2010, Ancelotti took Chelsea to their first league and FA Cup double in his first season as manager. The following season, in January 2011, Spanish footballer Fernando Torres completed his move to Chelsea on a five-and-a-half-year contract on January 31 for an undisclosed fee, reported to be PS 50 million, which set a new record for a British transfer and made him the fourth most expensive footballer in history. Ancelotti was sacked as manager at the end of his second season with the club in May 2011, after Chelsea's impressive form at the start of the campaign collapsed spectacularly during the winter months. Andre Villas-Boas, after taking Porto to a Europa League triumph, and having previously worked alongside Mourinho at Stamford Bridge, was appointed as Abramovich's seventh manager of Chelsea on June 22, 2011. However Villas-Boas was sacked in on March 4 due to a bad run of form, with only one win in 11 games. The next manager was Roberto Di Matteo, who was appointed to this role after winning the UEFA Champions League and the FA Cup serving in a caretaker capacity. Di Matteo was also sacked on November 21, 2012 after their 3-0 loss to Juventus. Former Liverpool boss Rafael Benitez was appointed as manager for the remainder of the club's campaign. He won Chelsea the Europa League against Benfica before leaving at the end of his term as interim manager. After the 2012-13 season, Benitez left Chelsea, and former club manager Jose Mourinho took over the club as manager on a four-year deal. On July 1, 2013, Chelsea celebrated ten years under Abramovich's ownership. Before the first game of the 2013-14 season against Hull City on August 18, 2013, the Russian thanked Chelsea supporters for 10 years of support in a short message on the front cover of the match programme, saying we have had a great decade together and the club could not have achieved it all without you, thanks for your support and here's to many more years of success. CSKA Moscow In March 2004, Sinift agreed to a three-year sponsorship deal worth EU 41.3 million, 58 million US dollars, with the Russian team CSKA Moscow. Although the company explained that the decision was made at management level, some viewed the deal as an attempt by Abramovich to counter accusations of being unpatriotic which were made at the time of the Chelsea purchase. Union of European Football Associations, UEFA, Rules prevent one person owning more than one team participating in UEFA competitions, so Abramovich has no equity interest in CSKA. A lawyer, Alexander Garis, is one of his partners in CSKA. Following an investigation, Abramovich was cleared by UEFA of having a conflict of interest. Nevertheless, he was named most influential person in Russian football in the Russian magazine Pro Sport at the end of June 2004. In May 2005, CSKA won the UEFA Cup, becoming the first Russian club ever to win a major European football competition. However, in October 2005, Abramovich sold his interest in Sineft and the company's new owner Gazprom, which sponsors FC Zenit St. Petersburg, cancelled the sponsorship deal. Russian national team Abramovich also played a large role in bringing GUUS Hidink to Russia to coach the Russian national football team. Pyet Avisa, 
a former head scout of Hidinks club PSV Eindhoven and now a personal assistant to Abramovich at Chelsea, recommended Hidink to the Chelsea owner. National Academy of Football In addition to his involvement in professional football, Abramovich sponsors a foundation in Russia called the National Academy of Football. The organization sponsors youth sports programs throughout the country and has constructed more than 50 football pitches in various cities and towns. It also funds training programs for coaches, prints instruction materials, renovates sports facilities and takes top coaches and students on trips to visit professional football clubs in England, Holland and Spain. In 2006 the Academy of Football took over the administration of the Konoplyov Football Academy at Primorsky near Togliati, Samara Oblast, where over 1,000 youths are in residence, following the death at 38 of his founder, Yuri Konoplev. Personal life Family His family is Jewish. Abramovich is a chairman of the Federation of Jewish Communities of Russia, which is allied with Putin's administration, and donates money to the Shabbat movement. Abramovich has been married twice. In December 1987, he married Olga Yurevna Lysova. They divorced in 1990. In October 1991, he married a former Russian Aeroflot stewardess, Irina Vyakslavovna Malandina. They divorced in 2007. He and Malandina have five children. Elia, Irina, Sofia, Arkadia and Anna. On October 15, 2006, the News of the World reported that Irina had hired two top UK divorce lawyers, following reports of Abramovich's close relationship with the then 25-year-old Dasha Zwakova, the former girlfriend of the tennis player Marat Safin and daughter of a prominent Russian oligarch, Alexander Radkinzikov. It was speculated that a future divorce settlement, amounting to a conjectured PS 5.5 billion, EU 6.5 billion might be the highest ever on record. The Abramovishes replied that neither had consulted attorneys at that point. However, they later divorced in Russia in March 2007, with a settlement reported as being 300 million US dollars, EU 213 million. Abramovich has two children with Zwakova, a son, Aaron Alexander, and a daughter, Leah Lu. Wealth According to Forbes, as of March 2011, he had a net worth of 13.4 billion US dollars up from 11.2 billion US dollars the previous year, ranking him as the 53rd richest person in the world. Prior to the financial crisis, he was considered to be the second richest person living within the United Kingdom. Early in 2009, the Times estimated that due to the global economic crisis he has lost PS3 billion from his PS11.7 billion wealth. Charitable donations Abramovich donates more money to charity than any other Russian. Since 1999, Abramovich has donated more than $2.5 billion to build schools, hospitals and infrastructure in Shukotka. In addition, Evra's PLC, EVR, the steelmaker partly owned by Abramovich, donated $164 million for social projects between 2010 through 2012, an amount that isn't counted in Abramovich's $310 million donations during this period. Other interests and activities Art Roman Abramovich sponsored an exhibition of photographs of Uzbekistan by renowned Soviet photographer Max Penson, 1893-1959, which opened on November 29, 2006 at the Gilbert Collection at Somerset House in London. He previously funded the exhibition Quiet Resistance, Russian Pictorial Photography 1900s-1930s at the same gallery in 2005. Both exhibits were organized by the Moscow House of Photography. In May 2008, Abramovich emerged as a major buyer in the international art auction market. He purchased Francis Bacon's triptych 1976 for EU 61.4 million, 86.3 million US dollars, a record price for a post-war work of art, and Lucian Freud's benefits supervisor sleeping for EU 23.9 million. 33.6 million US dollars, 
a record price for a work by a living artist. His partner Dasha Zwakova is managing a gallery of contemporary art in Moscow that occupies a historical Bakhmatevsky bus garage building by Konstantin Melnikov. The building, neglected for decades and partially taken apart by previous tenants, was restored in 2007-2008 and reopened to the public in September 2008. Speed and expense of restoration is credited to sponsorship by Abramovich. Yachts Abramovich has become the world's greatest spender on luxury yachts, and had been linked to five yachts in what the media have called Abramovich's navy. Eclipse 162.5 meters, 533 feet, ultra-modern designed by Hermides Otabiki. Similar to Polaris with even more aggressive lines and a tricolor scheme, also with an interior by Terence de Stael. Built in Germany by Blochen Plus Voss, she was floated out in September 2009. Abramovich was due to take delivery of the yacht in December 2009, which was delayed for almost a year after sea trials. She is believed to have cost Abramovich around 400 million US dollars, and was a delivery the world's largest privately owned yacht, having been eclipsed in 2013 by the 180 meters, 590 feet, Assam. The specification includes at least two swimming pools, a cinema, two helicopter landing pads, several on-board tenders and a submarine. She has been reported to have an anti-paparazzi photo shield system installed, motor yacht Luna 115 meters, 377 feet, delivered to Roman Abramovich, the world's largest expedition yacht, Titan 78 meters, 256 feet, built by Abeking and Rasmussen in 2010 with both exterior as well as interior design created by Raymond and Langton Design. Former boats. Polaris 115 meters, 377 feet, built in 2003 by Lerson for another client who received six offers to sell her before she was even completed. In 2004 he accepted Abramovich's bid. The contemporary interior was designed by Terence de Stael. Polaris was refitted by Blochen Plus Voss in 2005 adding a new Ford Healy pad and zero-speed stabilizers. She was partially refitted once again by Blochen Plus Voss in 2007-2008. Most often found cruising the western Mediterranean, Abramovich annually took her to the Caribbean to celebrate New Year's Eve and St. Bart's. Given to Irina in 2009 as part of the divorce settlement, she was approached on David G. Fenn's behalf by broker Mel Wood, with G. Fenn paying $300 million US dollars to take ownership in 2011. Le Grand Bleu 112 meters, 367 feet, expedition yacht, formerly owned by John McCaw, Abramovich bought her in 2002 and had her completely refitted including a 16 feet, 4.9 m, swim platform and sports dock. He presented her to his associate and friend Eugene Schwedler in June 2006, Ecstasy 85 meters, 279 feet, largest fed ship built to date. She has a gas turbine alongside the conventional diesels which gives her high cruising speed. Abramovich sold the boat to an unnamed buyer in 2009. Aircraft He owns a private Boeing 767-33AER, registered in Aruba as P4MES. It is known as the Bandit due to its cockpit paint detail. Originally the aircraft was ordered by Hawaiian Airlines but the order was cancelled and Abramovich bought it from Boeing and refitted it to his own requirements.